Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Rome, and we're back with some more MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. Let's talk about mods a little bit for the moment before we dive into this episode. So if we go to, go to the workshop and we go to my files, in fact, my files you've posted, is that what we're looking for? You'll see I have some mods up here. Now, not all these are available to the general public at the moment. Um, some of them are. Uh, and so you can look, I need to re-edit that one so my naming convention stays the same, but I just got some of these uploaded last night. I was going in to actually change, uh, to work on this one because I wanted to add some additional logos that we could throw into this save that are more kind of bird themed, you know, crow or raven, this is an old one we had. And I, I actually created a couple new ones last night and we're gonna run with this one right here. Um, and I'd never uploaded them onto Steam before. So, so I took care of that. So some of these, if you, if you look by uh, Mellow7, right, which is what my, my username is on um, whatever the hell this is, Steam, uh, you should find there's a couple. Uh, at the moment, they're just graphics uh, mods, uh, either to give you some character artwork or to give you some unit logos. Um, this one I need to update. It has just kind of some weird, fun, cartoony style themed pilots. This one, I believe, replaces every single pilot in the game with something. I've given just a handful of kind of uh, example of what the artwork loaded here. There's quite a bit more. Uh, so that's that one. And at the moment, um, you know what? We'll go ahead and we'll make it we'll make it visible to everybody. But I do need to go back through and. Uh, uh, and fix it up a little bit so it's a little bit more. A little bit better. All right. Um, and then we've got this one, which is just a pack of an another pack of logos. Um, these are all kind of weird totem, you know, kind of inspired stuff that I did a while back. Um, and I believe I have it on, had it on Nexus mod. Um, I don't know if it's it's not up to it's not currently up to date on there because I haven't I haven't re uploaded it there since the uh, since the DLC. Um, but they are here on Steam for the moment. So if you're playing on Steam, go for it. And if you're playing on um, the Unreal Store um, Game Launcher and you would like me to update that on Nexus, let me know. I'll be happy to do that. Uh, I'm not sure how to put mods in on, on, on Unreal as far as um, uploading them. Uh, I've also got a couple that we're going to, like I said, we're going to run this one. And then the other one, well, here's another little pirate. This one is just various pirate flags, some of which were real-esque, um, and some of which are from other games. For instance, our, our Garistas here, uh, just a made-up one, just to get us kind of a classic skull and crossbones and kind of a circle, because it looks good on the wings of a leopard kind of thing. There's my uh, Mech Warrior, my Atlas, I call it Atlas Steed, um, obviously based on this one, um, which was uh, Steed Bennett's. Steed Bennett? I think Steed Bennett was the pirate's name based on. So. Those are the logo packs. Um, I also have another pilot photo. This one is not complete. It doesn't have everything on it yet. Um, and I apparently haven't uploaded videos, but it's more this style. So it's still, it's still an illustrative style. It's not like a super realistic style. Um, and we'll see how those show up. Now they're not visible to anybody um, except me at the moment, but let's go to make that friends only. So if you'd like this one, knowing that it's incomplete, um, then uh, you can, if you, if you add me as a friend on, on Steam, you can get to this one. And we'll get it updated when it's ready for prime time. I'll go ahead and, and make it available for everybody. But right now, um, that is how that one goes. And I think that's it. I did add a mod um, through, um, we'll jump into the game here. I'll show you within the actual mod thing. Um, that lets you change your unit logo at any time in the game. Uh, I would like to add that into my actual mod packs, so that's part of it, so you don't need to run around and find a standalone mod, which as far as I can tell isn't on Steam at the moment. I did go back and get it off of, off of uh, Nexus mods. Um, so I would like to add that, so if you have some experience uh, modding in Unreal Engine, let me know. Um, we've got a little bit, maybe, on Discord that might might come through for me. We'll, we'll find out. Um, the mod I'm running right now to let us do that is called Change Company Name. It's actually, it does exactly what's on the tin. It's a great mod. I had zero problems with it. It's just, again, it's not on Steam. You've got to go looking for it. And if you want to change your logo partway through a series, you have to, you have to mod it. These packs will work just fine, like the, the totem unit pack or the pirate logo. Um, those will work just fine when you create your lands. 
But once you're already into the game, there's not a way to go back to that short of a mod. That's, that's what we got going on there. Um, go ahead and we'll, we'll continue on. What else do I got? Um, if you'd like to upload some cheesy song lyrics for us to make cheesy music out of, um, hop on the Discord, upload your, your, your lyrics. Uh, the, the AI software I'm using, um, I'm collaborating with <coughs> to create my songs, um, really likes about 12 lines, two, two verses of about four lines each and a chorus of about four lines. Anything more than that, it kind of gets a little sketchy and whether it completes, it writes pretty short songs. We can do longer songs with more choruses, but you kind of have to knock it down to kind of those 12 lines and then generate the first bit. And then you can generate a second bit based on the first bit and a third bit and so on and so forth. So you can do reasonably long songs with it. Um, it just takes a lot more work. Um, so anyway, if you've got a short song with some cheesy Battletech theme lyrics, I would love to hear them. You know, something like we would hear played like, you know, on the Clan Wars um, Saturday, you know, the, the cartoon, right? Uh, something that would fit into that. Uh, we've got two more Cantina missions we could fill, but those are filled now, they're already. Um, we've got a Cicada, but we're, we're gonna keep this one. We'll turn in another one. So that is that. Uh, contracts, do I have more contracts here we wanted to do? Oh, we're back in the base. All right, this takes us to potentially free for all open, 100 tons, must complete two arena missions, 44v4. We don't really have four lights. What would we do if we wanted to do 140 tons? Could we do it? What do we got up here? So this is 20, 65. 105, 145. So we're at 145 right now. We want to do 120. What if we do these three? Would let us do those three? That'd still put us at 125. That'd put us over as well. All right, well, we'll pass on that. We will keep an eye out on the arena missions. There's some problems with them. Um, I really like the idea, but if you have a map that's a little bit spread out, the AIs are not aggressive enough to go looking for anyone. So I had one, it was a free for all. I had to kill, it was 12, essentially 12 one we v ones, right? So I had to kill 11 other people to, to advance, to win. The problem was three of them were in a section that could see each other and they fought. The other of them were all separate. They couldn't see anybody. So they just stood there. They didn't go looking for somebody else. So I had to, I started with the three that were fighting each other and hopped in and finished that off. But then I had to go one to one to one. So I ended up having to do like an additional eight 1v1s all of appropriate length. And that's that's not the way it should work. Everybody should get together. It should be a free for all. They should either have maps that are open where everybody can see each other, right? Uh, maybe pillars or something to break in, you know, quick line of sight for, for missiles or something like that. But otherwise where the, the AI will be able to see and fight each other, or they need to change the AI for those missions such that they're running a super aggressive AI that goes patrolling and hunting for other people. Um, so right now, it's a little bit iffy um, on how useful that is long term. Um, but anyway, that's my thoughts on that. Let's go back to the star map here. Um, what do we want to do? Do we have some additional transmissions? Oh, Fixer Cantina. Yeah, we've already been doing that. We're not going to take uh, Goblin. Uh, his mech would be useful for us. Um, but I don't want to deal with the... Is this the one where they come looking for him? You guys let me know down below. I don't remember if they come looking for him. If he's just free and we can get him in his mech, I'll take him. He's not going to go away. Um, if, however, there's some baggage that comes back at you, and I don't remember if there was... Um, the last time I played him, we did have people coming for us, but I don't remember if that was a decision I made somewhere down the line or if they were looking for him. You guys let me know. I don't remember how I did that. So, But for now, we're going to skip him. Although, another 45-ton mech, and it's a really good one, um, would be useful. So you guys let me know down below. Um, our map, where were we going? Oh, I was going to look to see if there were nothing, no other transmissions. Okay. Oh, this is the super low level. That's that's too low for us. This is 
This has a cantina available and a couple missions we can do. Let's hop over there. Um, I think we can go bigger missions now that we're we're running. Uh, we've got more. Well, we had mediums before. I think we can do slightly bigger missions as well. Cantina. What else we got in the cantina? We get two more. Collected urban mech. Okay. Killed 10 J Edgars. I think that's good. All right. Let's take a look at the contracts here. We've got a battlefield and an objective raid. Let's go ahead and start the battlefield. We'll hop in with that one. Again, we'll take salvage. We'll go confirm. We can go 175 tons. Did I never fix? Oh, that one is that one is jacked up. That one is there's no fix in that one. It's not that's not. Let's take that though. Um, and that leaves me 65 tons, so we could do a 45 and a 20. So maybe we go the cicada and we go the locust. We're a little bit short on mechs at the moment, but that's okay. We've got pilots for everything. We got mechs for everything. This is five medium lasers is nothing to sniff about, right? This is the weak one right now because we lost the good. We lost the good locust, so we need another better good light mech. And this one, it's it's not great. It could use some updating. I'd like to get rid of the machine guns on it, probably. Um, that's probably the next thing we do. Um, but it just, it's only got three slots, right? So what do you do with, what do you just do with those three slots? Maybe two larges? Um, maybe two larges and a medium. Maybe a large in each arm or something like that. And we run with it that way. That might not be too bad. Maybe if we could find a short burn large or maybe large chemical lasers, maybe two large chem lasers would be good. I don't like that idea. Uh, we got six more days for our Crusader to finish, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and wait those six days and we'll jump in on our new Splat Cat built uh, Crusader. And we'll uh, we'll hop out here and we'll see how things go. Online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems be on them. We're right on the front lines, Commander. The good news is that we can rack up a big salvage payout if we're able to maintain our position. Weapon groups. Um, I don't mind that. You know, I'm going to do them in one big weapon group, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do this. And if I just need the arms, I'm going to do it different. I'm going to do it the opposite. I'm going to do it the opposite. What we're going to do is we're going to put the arms there on two. Whereas if we're chasing somebody, we can do that. And then we'll put everything here, but we'll put it on. We'll put it on chain. You have to be alive to spend it. Come back safe. And now we'll get down here, hopefully. And uh, we'll start killing some stuff. Stay sharp, Met Warriors. Ally Command reports enemy movement is projected to hit your location at any moment. Time to earn our pay. We're on your target, Commander. You don't need that PPC, do you? Ammo explosion. I'm gonna let him go for a second. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get rid of a leg. Another ammo explosion from the from the machine guns. This is a nice thing about machine guns. They do they do more critting. I'm gonna let him go. We're gonna let him finish him. Let's get some XP on him. Let's get some kills on him. Additional 
Hostiles have been dispatched. They're heading your way. Target acquired. What are you guys' thoughts on music in the game? Like additional, like non-game music. In the past, we've done series where we've done full game, feel music for, for the entire, for every fight. Um, I do still believe have a paid Epidemic Sound subscription, so we could definitely do not AI generated music, but actual full, you know, people generated algorithmic music that is objectively worse in many ways sometimes than the AI stuff, but with real people um, and a bigger selection that's easier to get to. Um, not necessarily a good selection, uh, which is, whoops, holy cow, we got somebody behind us here. Where, where is he? Come on, let me target him. Oh, a cicada. Hey, we need one of those. Can we take off his legs? Where's he going? Where's he going? Is he just trying to fight our, uh, our locust? Just want your legs so we can get you and turn you in. Oh, he's hiding behind a building. You little bastard. You little bastard. It's a little bit of an issue. Let's let it cool down a little bit. He's got like no armor left. Um, anyway, so let me know what you think about music. And if so, what type of music would you like? We've experimented with everything. I kind of lean towards kind of the, the the blues rock, something a little bit driving and fast, but kind of kind of grungy and dirty, right? That's kind of what I like. But we've played with all sorts of stuff. We've done kind of Chinese themed, kind of traditional Chinese music. We've done, um, you know, European classical music styles. Um, we could do, you know, I don't know, we could do EDM, drum and bass, jungle, something like that, if you guys really want. Um, you let me know what you think fits this type of game. Uh, and if you'd like to see more music in, let me know. We could still do, we could do a mix of, you know, we do one or or even two songs, if you guys really want, of cheesy lyric kind of um, music like we've been generating. Uh, and then we could do the rest with just regular music. You know, you know, epidemic sound, you know, type of stuff. EPC is already annoying. I, I am regretting not having anything long range, but you know, that's okay. Some damage on that PPC. I'm gonna ignore the spider for now. All right, now I'm gonna ignore you. And there's another vehicle over here. Now we can worry about the spider. It's all about prioritizing your targets, right? Oh, let's get underneath him so he doesn't Highlander us. Um, let's pull back a little bit. We're in pretty reasonable condition, though. Now we can actually start to worry about trying to get stuff, right? We need some J. Edgars. Uh, we need a Cicada, which we maybe got one. It's hard to say. Uh, I'm not sure who else we're supposed to be killing or what we're supposed to be getting. But uh, now we can kind of take it wave by wave. Moving on target. Now there's a few things I'd like. You've got, you have a large lasers in that arm there, huh?
And the AC 10s in the other one. All right, and again, I'm going to let them hopefully get some XP. Oh, he's already shooting that. They got it. Never mind. They got the XP. Harrier, or harasser, excuse me. And I think there's one more vehicle over there. I, again, do not have the range. That we can just kind of tickle him at that range. Good job, Santiago. See, yeah, that's a Kata, I'm telling you. Focusing on issue target. Again, there's not much I can do about him yet. Large laser's been doing its bit, though. We've really been noticing it poke out here and there for those long-range snipes. So yeah, maybe, maybe two large lasers, maybe two large chem lasers on that Phoenix Hawk. We turn it into a fast kind of sniper scout. Kind of, it can jump around and get wherever it wants to get. Um, how we doing? Taking a little bit more damage now. Let's do one more wave, and then we'll get out of here. Somebody's taking pot shots at us from over there, huh? Got a Panther, another PPCX, and that Vulcan with an AC2. That appears to be what this problem. And chopper in there, maybe? New target, Vulcan. Affirmative. Commander target is now priority. lose an arm. Arms are expensive on this. And I think I did it to myself. My god, this is why. Flyers are so bad because they do so much damage, but they're also so distracting in the middle of that fight. Time to go. Still got that flyer up there? And one more. Well, that turned on us quickly, huh? Medium laser and an SRM-6. All right, it's all replaceable, but it did not, that extra, you know, 80 grand that we got out of that, 90 grand, well, maybe it'll pay for it. What I should have done with the flyers is I should have backed out of the fight, gone outside of the walls, taken care of them, and then come back in. Rather than try to, to stay in there. Uh, Cicada, we'll go to grab because we need it to turn in. Um, now, we can strip these and then turn them in if you want to take a little bit of time because it's got a 320 on it. It doesn't need to be worth anything. It just needs to be, it just needs to be turned in, right? So we could take that 320 out of that and get something out of it. Um, otherwise, is there anything down here I'd like? Our starter might not be bad. We're not going to make any money on anything else this time. All we're going to get for fire starters is three. Eh, that's fine. We need we need four more at some point. Um, and we'll take an LRM-10, I guess. No, actually, we'll take a medium laser. We can start to upgrade those. We did a fair amount of damage. Unfortunately, I took 159, 72, 75, three in the Locust. Good, that evasion is paying off. Um, let's go and see what this cicada's like. Because I think I'm just going to strip it. Yeah. It's gonna cost us some money. Uh, and then this guy, easy fix. That guy, pretty easy fix. Very easy fix. Uh, repair all. And it's going to cost us a lot of money. But other than that, we're okay. 
So, next mission. Let's see what we got going on. We have another contract here to do. Not sure why contracts re-brought that up, but okay. Um, how about this one right here? It's a, it's a raid. It's 160 tons. We'll go ahead and take some salvage. We're not going to get much out of this. You take an airstrike? Let's take an airstrike. see those are all being worked on we could take the Vulcan and there we go perfect it's us right where we need to get to oh sorry about that our employer wants a selected number of buildings taken out Intel provided by them can only give the general area they're located at you will have to recon the precise objectives on site this area is heavily guarded, so watch out for... She very much very... The precise objectives. Objectives. The ob was very pronounced that time, I felt. It was a little bit weird. Um, I'm waiting for my airstrike is all I'm waiting for. I'm just going to kind of drop it, like, right there. And we'll see what they say. I mean, that's 716. That's 881, so it's on the other side of that. I think we just drop it right here just to see what it does. But I'm guessing it's a building on the other side of that. Yeah, it's it's on that far corner. Can we get to it an easier way? If we go... What if we wrap this way? Just around this hill up here. We stay up high, but we wrap to the north side of this. Oh, one, one. This is Sierra, two, one. Strike support yep. is ready and standing by. Over. We will use you. Give me just a second, Sierra. Alpha 1-1, one, one, I guess, is what you were. Or, I don't remember. There was an Alpha 1-1 one, one and a Sierra in there. I don't remember which he was. Maybe we were Alpha 1-1 one, one and he strike for Sierra. I don't know. Around the corner here where we can see what we're doing. Oh, nope. Still can't see what we're doing. Now there's a mountain in the way. Silliness we do. Just for a little added extra. Oh, no, don't fall down there. I want to be able to get back out of there. Um, there we go. There we go. Ooh. All right. Over here. It looks like I'm not being able to get a very good view, but that's okay. We're going to go H. And we're just going to kind of drop it. I don't know. In there somewhere. Oh, one, one. This is Sierra 2-1. Coordinates confirmed. Sierra 2-1, out. There they go. Hey, don't we need to kill an Irby? Oh, we didn't get anything we need to kill out of that, but that's okay. Can we take that arm off from here? Maybe? First. Yep. Yes, we can. Let's take that tank apart. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Threat removed. All right, one more tower over here somewhere. I'm assuming she was talking about the Irby, but I don't know if she was or not. We do need to finish him off, though, because we do need to kill him for the mission. I think that was just the one shot he got off before he, before he died. All right, I do want to loop back around here real quick and make sure that we did get that Irby mech. Target 
destroyed. Oh, there he is right there. Okay, so he is down. We accomplished that. Oh, we got another fire starter over there. Move it in kind of fast. Tracking on new target. Get that ammo going. And just kind of wait and see what happens. Yeah. I like just waited to let the, the ammo explosions go, right? Because the AI, I mean, if you can take that torso off on something you know has ammo in it, especially early on where they haven't wasted any of it, that's a lot of damage sitting there waiting to go off. Um, yeah, we'll go through the trench. It's not the right answer, but it's what we're doing today. Probably should have looped south because we had an easy way up that way. Or west, excuse me. Should have taken the south ramp out of there to the western bypass. There we go. That's what I'm trying. In. You coming? I mean, you're in a very fast, jumpy Mac. You shouldn't be hung up on anything. Are you, you fighting somebody that I can't see? No? We do have mechs here I'd like to fight if you don't mind. Ooh, okay, well we're going after you, start with. Actually, we're gonna stay back here. Let that AC-21 have to come to us. We'll take the AC-10, oh. Yeah, we'll take the AC-10 off this one first. Or maybe we'll just kill him outright. Now we'll worry about the AC-20. He's got the good old fashioned just AC 20. And once again. We just playing with our food now. Come on, get him. Your job is to get there. You go. You get as much experience as you can. We're gonna grab the loot. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Target acquired. Firing on requested target. Package acquired. Who we get? LRM20, level three. Actually, that's a really good LRM20. Best loot we found so far. Enemy destroyed. Targeting updated. Uh, is that whole building what I need to kill? No, maybe there's a silo or something back over there. Oh, it's just that. Target destroyed. All objectives destroyed. All right, we'll be out of here. See you back on the boat. That was not an easy one. All herbies. Get out of here super clean. And we got some more loot though, so it was worth the pause to get the three choppers. And we'll see if we got anything good out of this. Like another LRM. Uh, it's four, heat, four single heat sinks. <laughs> okay, but we still got 12,000 C bills out of it, so you know, I'll take it. I will take it.
All right. Um, neither of these has anything useful in it. I think we just need to turn in one. So we'll grab that one. And then maybe we'll grab that one to sell. And then I'll go for another medium laser. Oh, no, I'll go for a fire starter salvage. Yeah. There we go. We've got some skill ups. Nice. Working on it. Job reward. We're going to go ahead. I had to kill three Herbies. So we'll go ahead and claim that one. Gets us up to three points. Now we've got to collect an urban mech. And we can do that. Doesn't matter. And then we can sell this one. That one's still got a few days left on salvage, right? So if we go to work orders, four days. I'm going to go ahead real quick. I'm just going to timeline up to that one. So that we can then uh, turn that one in. There we go. And that leaves us five points. What did I say? I wanted to do this one and this one at the same time. So we'll grab that. And now we'll grab this. That way we don't have to deal because this makes it this is faster, but more expensive. This knocks the price back down and makes it even faster. So that works well. That leaves us with a point that we can put towards whatever next thing we're doing. Um, I like that. Maybe we'll come over here and work on our salvage stuff. Um, let's take a look at what we've got unlocked here. If we want to do some, any, any some upgrades here. Mostly jump jet stuff early. Explosive cells for ballistic weapons. Okay, so we've got energy cooldown, ballistic damage. Don't really have any big ballistic mechs going right now. Uh, jump jet refuel rate and missile range and velocity. Now that could work, especially on our new Crusader, right? So if we go to here, upgrade this first. And then we go to here and we do an upgrade. Um, I think, actually we put that on Rome. Um, let's go missile range. There we go. And then on you, let's do, let's do, uh, ballistic damage. Because we run those clan AC-10s. All right. That takes a cantina. Now let's see if we can get some more stuff. Collect a Jenner, we can do that. Uh, collect 10 SRM-2s. Um, yes. We seem to have reset all of those. Maybe because I changed the unit logo. Um, there is a Scorched Earth here that we could do. Targeted kill... There's two here that we could do, a garrison and a battlefield. It might have that. <laughs> it might also introduce us to uh, a Merklands, the Blackhearts. On one side or the other. Don't know which. I would like to go in. Let's let's take a look at our, uh, our Phoenix Hawk. So if we get rid of this medium laser and this medium laser, we get rid of the two machine guns. We get rid of machine gun ammo, and that leaves us with not quite enough. But we can get rid of two jump jets. I'm fine with that. And just run like that. He's, he's awful short on armor still. But if we get rid of one more of these, and put one here just to make it kind of whatever. We kick that in. It gets us another half a ton of armor. At least our upper stuff is good. Our lower body's still a little bit eh. But that's not too bad. The two large lasers, it actually says it brings our damage down, which is fine. But that lets him poke from range. So hopefully that lack of armor is not going to be too bad. I mean, those are what, five? And these are seven? Yeah. And like I say, we keep an eye out. Maybe we come up with some... Large chem lasers, and we go with maybe large chem lasers. I don't know if they are. They also five plus ammo. That might not work for it, but for now, I think that works. Let's let's just 
throw that in there for now. Contracts. All right, so this one actually does have this battlefield one. So let's go take that, see if we can get that knocked out. Um, they don't like us, so we've taken off a point. Uh, do we just run like this with a uh, locust, maybe? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go with the cicada. Um, here. 20. I don't think we have a 30. We do not. All right, that's what it's going to be. Uh... We have an upgraded... Oh, that's 65. Uh, here, let's just swap these two. Rather than pay the 500,000. Oh, I still have to upgrade it. Have we not upgraded that at all? Um, operations. Upgrades. Oh, they're up to 55, but they're not up to 65. Oh, that's kind of annoying. I'm going to spend the 500 on this one, though, right now. So we could take this, but not in any of these roles. So if we were to go Phoenix Hawk, we'd be 30 tons under, because I don't have another mech that we can slot in there at the moment. Well, darn it. This is a risk, but what I'm going to do is... Oh, I can't do it there either. I want to drive this. Oh, we just don't... We don't have the mechs to make up the tonnage. And this game has been... unstable enough. There have been some serious spikes in difficulty on some missions. And so I don't really want to go in under. We don't need to go in over. I'm fine with that, but I don't want to go in under. Put you there... Let's put you there. That's a lot of medium lasers in a small area. And we'll throw you there. We'll get some pilots. And off we go. Attention. Prepare for Benelec departure. Illinoiva 3, huh? Online. Sensors online. Weapons online. Looks like a nice sunny day here on Villa Nuevo 3 with some lovely palm trees. Enemies will be relentless on this front, so take care not to overextend your stay here. But if you do stick around, our employers are offering a competitive combat bonus. If we can continue to hold off enemy forces, past our negotiation. Hold on, let's wait to see where she says the item is. Indicates one of your target acquisitions is in this area. Probable location is marked on your map. All right, I'm gonna run over and grab it, and hopefully I'll remember to edit this out, and then we'll come back and we'll kick that off. Commander, you've got the ops for attention. <coughs> You're converging on your position. Brace for hostile contact. Target acquired. Ah. There. It's one of the more tanks. <coughs> Destroy it. I got smart. Move over so you can see the... Uh, maybe I can turn the camera. There we go. So we can, we can see the uh, last Lance member's status there. Anyway, I got smart and realized I can change which mech I'm piloting in here, right? Without any problems, so... Additional bogeys setting an intercept course on your position. Target acquired. Target destroyed. <coughs> New target, Shadowhawk. On the commander target. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target 
Shadow Hawk and a Commando. I'm gonna go this way. We can take out that Commando first. He is the SRM-10 model. Means he's pretty nasty. But now we got an ammo explosion on him. He's gone. All right, now let's take care. Oh, you're just about short of the leg. And I messed up that shot there, but they did it. Mind another, I wouldn't mind a Shadowhawk. Let's see if we can start to get some targets on that guy, because that's nasty. Four AC5s. <coughs> He's gonna hurt. Now, alternatively, we could just stay up here We've got your target, Commander. and wait for him to come to us rather than walk out across the killing grounds and let him use those at range. Yeah, let's do that. Wait for this spider to come up over the hill here. Focus target has been updated. And again, let's stay on this side of the ridge. Now we'll go see where he is. That's better. That's in range of my medium lasers. Yeah, I'm gonna stay down here. He's got an AC-10 in his right arm and a large laser in his left. And of course, the locust spun him around completely so I couldn't get a shot on any of it. And I just messed up. Back around, we got the Super Javi coming in. All SRM6s all in the torso. There's no point in doing anything other than just wiping out his CT. It's critical for us. We're taking a little bit of leg damage. We've only got one, I think it's a tank up here. We're right here. I think it'd be silly not to just hop down. He's taking a little bit of damage on that torso. A little bit of ar damage on that arm again uh, that we just repaired on the Crusader. But otherwise, pretty clean. Clear to board at and this was one. fun. Welcome back. We got our item. Forcer's we didn't leave much anything, did we? <laughs> I'll take that. Shadowhawk salvage. We own nine. What do we need? Do we need 11? Right, it's 55 tons, so 10, 11. So that should get us a Shadowhawk. Oh, I need a bunch of those. We'll take those. Work on that. That's about perfect. Nice. We did good damage. In this mech, uh, we can turn that in. And now we're back up to three points. I'm kind of thinking we go, we need four for that, huh? Hmm. That's probably worth it, right? Increases our salvageable partial mech. So like that, that Shadowhawk that we just got. This will drop more portions of the mech that get blown up for us to pick up so we can salvage things quicker. And then this, we'll choose our chance of, of getting that equipment by 20%. Um, proves the state. Now this is actually pretty good. That's three points. Might be better off doing this and then this, but that's going to cost us almost three mil on top of the seven points we're going to need to do it. That's a lot. We might be better off just dropping down here and maybe discount on purchasing mechs, chance of finding rare items, 
Um, we need 10 points to open up the black market. That might not be a bad thing to do, but again, that's going to cost us 3 mil. Contracts. Penalties for dropping too many tons on the battlefield. Weight, and weight fines and salvage forfeiture are reduced as the system's governors waived about a third of the would-be amount for planet fall. Oh, okay. So it's... Okay, so it... If we decide we want to bring more tonnage than we need for the fight, right? We pay a fine for that. That will reduce those by 30%. Okay, I got it. And then this is going to do it by another 20%. And we can bring over tonnage on restricted missions. Doesn't cost any money. It only costs points. Uh, now this one is going to reduce our pirate salaries by 10, our pilot, not our pirate. Let's, let's start being cheap. We'll assume it's because we got a better deal on their health care, not just taking money out of their pocket. Yeah, that's the, that's the ticket. All right. Anything else nearby that I feel like we have to have? Um, I kind of would like to do this one because that's going to get us a war hammer. Does it show up under our transmissions? It does. We've got a, a Pavel, which isn't bad. We could do this one. Um, but again, we haven't been working faction for them, so that's not going to get us much out of it at this point. This one's probably the better option because it's going to get us this. And we haven't actively worked against them. So we, we have... I think this is a better one to worry about for faction than this. We're not going to get much out of it, but doing stuff for Lao, I think, is going to be a problem. But we will do that next time. So I will see you guys next time. Because apparently I have to go look for the cat. We'll see ya. Cheers.